judgment here. I'm going to go back in time a bit here and show you a possible use for the old-fashioned TCPIP game. So I'm going to start by setting it up. The screen you're seeing is my desktop and I have joined to it by a cable going into the modem my Windows 8 notebook which also has Diablo 2 installed on it. You'll notice we're in version 1.14 here. What I'm going to try and show you is a method of uh, being able to continually kill the Cow King. So I'm going to go other multiplayer, TCP IP game, I'm going to note my IP address there, I'm going to host a game, and Patriarch Sigma is going to host a normal little game. Now you can see it loading in there. I'm now going across to my notebook and there you go TCP IP game join again and I'm going to join it with another character and I'll explain the significance of those two characters in a moment. So there's the TCP IP game. Another character is going to join us in a moment. And I should start by saying that this character Sigma has killed the Cow King at normal level and cannot set up cow games. Now Bludge the Barbarian who has just joined us has not killed the Cow King so still has the right to set up cow games. The host of the game the TCPIP game appears to be the only one who can alter the number of players so we're going to go to players 8 and the first thing we're going to do here is go and get work's leg so I've dropped work's leg on the ground I'm now going across to my notebook Bludge of the Barian pick, picks that up and this won't appear on the desktop screen I'm on my notebook I'm going across to Akara to buy the necessary Tome of Town portal and I'm putting them both in the Haradric cube. I want somewhere on screen so Bludge of the Barbarian is now going to open up the Haradric cube and set the portal into the cow level. So we're on players 8 and before we go in there, I'll just take the map off and show you the equipment I'm using. So here is the standard Magic Find setup I use, and this also is what I use in Hell Level games to complete the kill. It is essentially Blade of Ali Barbar with two Ist runes, Harlequin Crest Shaker with an Ist rune, Enigma Mage Plate, a rare magic amulet with 22 magic find chance guards perfect for magic find two perfect nasal rings for magic find gold wrap heavy belt upgraded to a battle belt for 30 magic find 48 percent magic find war travelers geed's fortune perfect for magic find and some small charms, all 7% magic fine with resistances, total of 599. Just for magic fine runs in normal games, I've also equipped the mercenary with the Tomb Reaver Cryptic Axe. Now this one has 65% magic find on its own. In normal levels I don't really need the Shale, Omen, Jar rune. I could arguably put three Ist runes in there. Skull Desire. 122 and a 72% magic find helm. So it's 599 if I make the kill using bone spear and it's 858 if the mercenary makes the kill and well, what we're looking for here of course is the cow king. Ah now I'm going to let the mercenary in here and the reason why I'm casting Confuse is when the other cows strike the cow king you should be able to see the uh, flash of lightning because the cow king is always lightning enchanted. It 
it's very, very hard to actually tell where the cow king is amongst all those uh, other cows. As you can tell by the drop, which is why I'm letting the mercenary knock them down one at a time for the um, extra magic find. Still not seeing the cow king. Heard a jewel. The extra magic find of the mercenary. I don't know where the cow king is and all that lot. Ah, somewhere in there. I, hear, I can hear the lightning enchantment. So I'm going to just let the mercenary knock him down. Right, did we get anything? So that's how you set up uh, cow games so that you can kill the cow king repeatedly. And I don't think the cow king dropped anything particularly useful there. Can we find the corpse? Let's just change to weapon switch so I've got a lot more and explode the corpses. Cow King Corpse, so there he was. Now, what did he drop, if anything? May have been that rare spear, looks about it. Sometimes it's helpful to pick up the gold, because that exposes other items. But I don't think Spear Bardish looks about it, I think. Judgment here, you can see uh, Bludger the Barbarian in the background there. The piece of video you're about to see is me getting an unusual drop from the Cow King in a normal game. It's not a piece of the Cow King set, but something I was also trying to get. Unfortunately, Windows Update appears to have altered the uh, microphone settings and there's no commentary from me during the game, but I will say it was a relatively rare find. Where is he? Somewhere in there, right? Yeah, we're on weapon switch, so if he's down, the motion is going. Right, did we get anything from the Cow King? Oh, another set of Tancred boots. That's three. Bone Helm is the Worm Skull, I think. Yeah, the Worm Skull. And there's another set of the Tancred, Tancred's boots. Now, the point about those is that they're very hard to get anywhere except the cow level. So, that may in fact be enough to give me four pairs of them. And I can now hunt for the other parts of the Tancred set. Uh, 
in easier places. Now the Death Guard belt we got on the way by um, killing Rakanishu. So Rel runes we now have three. At least we can sell the skull. No, we have three flawless skulls. So we can combine them. Now this is going to create some space here. Because there's a perfect skull. I can now put in the perfect topaz and the perfect sapphire. Oh, and the charm. And re-roll the charm to get that. And if nothing else, that will at least give us some space. Now, we are not going to need... Now you need that shield to complete another set. And I think we need the Tancred boots. But I don't think we need either of those two. In fact the Wound Skull Helm will have a look but I don't think we need the Hawanan belt. In fact I'll just... Now we do need the um, Sash. And we do need the shield to go towards completing another set, if I can arrange this correctly. I suppose that's fairly typical of what happens in the um, cow level. There's just massive numbers of drops, but I don't think we need the Cleglaw set a fourth time. The uh, Cleglaw sword a fourth time. Ah, there we go. Ah, strange enough, I actually want that one. Wonder when it would drop. Okay, there is the twitch throw, studded leather. Probably the best of the low level armors. Ah, gee, we've got the Cow King at last here, have we? Oh, Definitely man. in that lot there, right. Oh, in fact, have we picked him out or not? Oh, right, first time I've had a really good look oh, at the oh, Cow oh, King. Oh, 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 oh. Well, wasn't worth the trouble. 